Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Dad Life where we're going to be doing a new shoe review from my favorite shoe company, Allen Edmonds. So stick around, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and do this shoe review. All right, we are here with a new pair of shoes from my good friends over at Allen Edmonds. And some of you who are familiar with the Allen Edmonds brand probably know that this is their 100th anniversary year. They were they started in 1922, and it being 2022, they're celebrating their 100th anniversary in business. And with that, they're coming out with some unique makeup shoes. And one of the items they came out with this year is a spectator shoe. And it's based off of the McAllister shoe that they have, which is a nice short wing uh, brogued shoe. It's a it's a really beautiful shoe. Check it out. I'll put a link for the regular McAllister in the description of the video. But this special makeup was only done this year. It was only available for a few weeks and we were able to snag a couple of pairs. One of them has come in. We'll do a review on the other one when it gets here. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the tag on the front of the box here where it tells you it's McAllister. It says AV Anniversary Edition. So it's a 100 year shoe and it's in chili. So that's gonna be the color of the leather. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. So when we open it, we'll see a couple of things. One, it's their new shoe bag. So Allen Edmonds used to include two shoe bags with their shoes, one for each shoe. Then they went to a single bag and that was terrible. And now they have this like extra large bag with a sewn seam down the middle so you can fit two shoes in one bag. I like it, it's fine. Two shoe bags I think is better, but uh, this this will work okay. Now inside the box, we have a little literature. So a little bit about their 100 years here. Just a little insert. And again, on the back, it says Allen Edmonds, 1922. So really, they're, they're really playing up their 100th year anniversary, which is great. Not very many businesses stay in business for 100 years. So good for them. Hopefully, they don't lose who they are as a company. I like Allen Edmonds. They're a classic American shoe. They make classic American shoe styles, but they're going toward all these new age shoes, uh, fancy leather shoes on top of sneaker bases and stuff like that. I don't personally like them. A lot of people do, one of my best friends, he loves the sneaker base shoes, um, you know, to each their own. Hopefully they can keep enough of those to keep the lights on and then they can continue to do classic styles like what we're about to look at. So let's go ahead and unbag these. We'll pull them out and oh my gosh, these things are gorgeous. So these are a special 100 year makeup of the McAllister and it's in leather and linen spectator. And it's in the chili, the dark chili leather, which is a more reddish brown than say their walnut. This one seems a little bit more of a dark brown, not so much a red, but what I love is this gray linen on this for the spectator. This is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. We'll flip it over on the bottom. Traditional leather sole, House Allen Edmonds leather. The stitching looks really good on this shoe. Got the rubber, rubber heel here. And just looking at the shoes, we're going across it. I'm not seeing any quality control issues here. Um, the shoe looks to be in excellent shape. The broguing looks to be fully stamped out. A lot of guys were getting them with marks on their linen. I'm not seeing that, like pencil marks. I'm not seeing any pencil marks on mine. The shoe is looking fantastic. And if we go ahead and pull this out, a little tissue paper inside, on the inside of the, of the Footbed there, 100 year. So it tells you it's an anniversary shoe. Love it. Let's look at the other one. Again, no quality control issues. Shoe looks to be in excellent shape. The broguing is good. The pinking is good. That's the little notches here on the leather. The pinking looks good. Again, the linen looks fantastic. It looks in excellent shape. No weird marks on it. No weird marks or scuffs on the leather. These were excellent, excellently made shoes. 
Uh, if you follow the Allen Edmonds Enthusiast page, you may see some concerns about quality control. And to be honest, there is. You know, there's a few shoes that get passed that probably shouldn't. Uh, this shoe was built with care. Looks like the only little thing is it looks like there's a little bit of the linen coming through the broguing here or on the medallion. Nothing that we can't take care of with a little a little snip in there with some small scissors. So again, just an excellent shoe on the same inside the 100 year anniversary logo. All their special makeups have that this year. You got the leather sole, House Allen Edmonds leather. Again, perfect on the bottom. This shoe just looks excellent. So again, these were a special makeup. Their retail price was $395. Um, if you didn't pick up a pair and you're just seeing them now, uh, Shoe Bank, Allen Edmonds Outlet Store, has a few pairs in some colors available. They will probably start to get more. But this 100 year anniversary, dark chili and linen McAllister Spectator is an absolutely gorgeous shoe, well worth the money, well worth the investment. This is a shoe that will last you a lifetime. And uh, there's been others that have done, uh, had questions on how to care for this. We're gonna do a separate video showing how to protect these materials and how to clean them properly. Um, you're gonna wanna go easy on polish and heavy on, on lotions with this and uh, regular uh, leather, leather care products, but not colored ones. So uh, stay tuned for another video on how to care and treat your new leather and linen spectators. Whether it's from Allen Edmonds or another brand, we'll show you how to keep these clean and looking nice and avoid stains because uh, that linen will pick up food or other junk that you get on it. So just want to do a quick video outlining these shoes, kind of showing them off. They are a gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. Now, what would you wear these with? You could pair these with a tan pant. You can pair them with a blue pant. You could pair them with a gray pant. Um, and you could dress them up or dress them down. So you could do uh, you could do like a chino if you want a more casual look. You could do a slack if you want to uh, dress it up. You could even pair it with a suit. Like if you wore these with a nice tan suit or a bone suit, they, they would it would be an excellent summer outfit. If you're in a warmer climate and you want to wear them in the fall, maybe with a uh, with a gray suit or a charcoal gray. Even I would I would be bold enough to do these with a charcoal gray. But these are gonna be a shoe that you can wear pretty much all year long if you want. Spectators generally are assigned as a summer shoe, but in the world we live in, the rules have kind of gone out the window so you can do what works best for you. Uh, but again, this is a beautiful shoe. I'm excited to wear it. I'll just do another video showing you how to keep these clean, keep them safe and protected from the elements in the world. And uh, don't be afraid to buy mixed material, high-end shoes when you get the chance. Most people, most companies don't make them anymore. So if you find a special makeup like this or a, or a vintage one even that's in good shape, pick it up, be bold. Uh, these contrasting materials and colors just help make the shoe that much more unique and help make the shoe stand out. In a world dominated by the black square-toed shoe from Ross, be the leather and linen spectator in the crowd. You'll always get noticed. And I'll tell you what, the shoes make the man. Always never be afraid to dress up and to be the better dressed person in the room. We'll see you next time.